Oh my god, the road is so bent. What the hell is this? Hello everyone, this is Ricardo Review. Hello guys, so I'm on my second day trying to put fish on the Ryobi Ronmi Delicacy. But basically the first day was just a casting test. The rod casts very very nice, everything. I started with 2 grams and I went up until 5 and had no problems casting sideways, front, overhand, everything. Other than not catching fish, I had a blast. Next day would be different. I paired it with a Sembo. Uh, it's very very hard conditions yesterday, there were very few fish, I thought that the water was murky and I had a very very small leader with a swivel on my setup, I just put a new fluoro in, a very very big leader, around maybe 3 meters or more, so I will try to not scare the shy bites and I will go on the beginning of the creek because yesterday I had two bites on the end of my session and they were on this side of the bank with this lure the bass legends and I will try to see if I can uh, catch something on this rod uh, the conditions are about the same so the creek it's not that deep but I thought the water would be very murky and it's not so and the fish are fewer and are even shyer than usual because of the cold front that we had so I'll try to make something happen I already saw fish they are moving on the other bank I will let my lure drift as usual put it in front of them and try to make something happen let's cross our fingers and try to christen this rod I see you guys in a bit so I'm on the exact spot that I was yesterday when I had the two bites and I'm hiding behind the tree so fish cannot see me and I'm just letting my wool drift down the creek and the first bite of the yes. I think I caught something ah. Jesus, piece of trash. And by piece of trash, I mean I was uh, snagged on some uh, wild raspberry thorny crap. And I was recovering my lure because I, I know that the fish that bite was still there and still hungry. And I cast my lure again, let it drift more about the same spot, start to retrieve it. And for sure he was hitting it again just need to have confidence and there it is ah. oh my god the rod is so bent what the hell is this this was that the fish was also ah. snagged on the thorny bullcrap on the side wall of the creek and I was trying to push it out but it still snagged so I started to give line and retrieve give line retrieve give line retrieve until it was unsnagged and that took about two minutes am I snagged now oh it start pulling again let's give it a bit of line ah I can see the fish the fish is snagged over there on some branches <sighs> so I'm two minutes in trying to take this fish out of the water and finally it seemed to start to get unsnagged when I pull I could retrieve line which is a good sign I think it passed now I see my leader Yes, I need my net. Uh. Uh. 
Yes! Stop thrashing! Ugh. So, around until the fin, probably. Yeah, I don't know if you can see. 33 centimeters. So, not a bad one. This is very, very fatty. That's why it's so fast. And the rod is crescent. And I'll maybe go on another place. I was right about coming in again. Nice job. And it's delivered. Now that I discount, I'm moving to others, another spot because from this side it's very very hard to take the fish out of the water this tree trunk it's too wide and I don't have too much of maneuverability so what I couldn't do in two hours yesterday I only came to this spot in the end because it's as you saw it's a uh, very snaggy but this little fella did the trick I tried some more with the same lure a uh, little bit down the creek but nothing was happened I head down to the bridge swap my lure for the Leydon hot micro minnow and disconnect my camera that's why there's a jump cut I was drifting the lure, I got something. As you can see the rod pins the fish with no problems, I pushed it up the, the creek. The bend, it's very very subtle, you can predict it, that's the, the best compliment you can give a budget rod, it's predictable. And now I'm just having a brain fart because the fish is just too far away for me to have already my net on my hand, I had to put the net down, drill the fish in a little bit more and then I can swoop him in uh, let's see if I can swoop him in it's very very fat I can tell you that uh, uh, so second one of the day I was just trying something new, that's why I was not recording. Very, very fat guy. And stop thrashing. Quick measurement. So again, 30, let's call it 33 and a half. But these guys are very, very healthy. They are very, very fat. And they have a huge mouth for their size. So, quick release. Ah. Two fish on the... Ryobi delicacy. Then now this will be a pain in the ass. This is the end of the session. Today I was fishing with a Ryobi Ranmi delicacy. So it's basically a delicacy, but it's divided in four parts. I already did a breakdown of the rod on an unboxing video. You can check it out if you want. Uh, I paired with the Sambo Air. I caught two fish with it, one of them snagged, the rod performed amazingly, the fish were about 33 centimeters, but very very fat, so I, they put the rod through its paces. This is a rod that I recommend because it's as good as the Delicacy, it's cheap, you can get it with no discounts I think for 25 euros or the same amount in dollars. And you can put it on the backpack because after you break the four parts it becomes like 50 centimeters and that's for me it's a win because you can put this on a backpack with a uh, bait caster like the Sambo or the Solo King Akura which is also cheap 
and there's a f***ing car coming that's about it i will see you guys on my next video bye hey.